day. Yeah, I got you something. Well, I really got myself something. <laughs> yeah. Just a little snack. Sorry, I'm hungry. Yeah. I needed that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sometimes you just need a little midnight snack to get some pep in your step, <laughs> especially when you can't sleep. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know why, but like, you know, I was never a person who couldn't go to sleep. I always prided myself on being like a person who could sleep, especially when I was younger. Yeah, and then as I got older, it just got worse. <laughs> Wasn't because I was studying the budget or anything like that. It just kind of like you just find you just always have a reason to stay up late. You kind of just go with it until it lasts for like too long, and then it's kind of like okay, now I have a non-existent sleep sort of schedule, and it's like wait, <laughs> this is not. A new thing. This is reoccurring. This has been happening for decades. I just haven't realized it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get to that point. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Oh yeah, cashews. Oh. I've never been much of like a like cashew person. I was more of like a walnut. Walnut. I don't know why, like, sometimes, like, staying up always makes me think, like, I should be looking at some stars or something like that. Ooh, what is that? Like, I should be looking at, like, stars. I don't know. Does that make sense? Like, in all those, like, movies, you know, like, the girl, or someone's always looking out on a balcony. Someone always has a balcony for whatever reason. I always wanted a balcony. 
But yeah, I think like these have these have a balcony and we just sit out and we just look at the stars and I'm like, Ugh. and I just feel like while we're up, we should like look at stars. But yeah, we don't have a telescope. <laughs> so, well, we don't need a telescope, but we don't have a balcony either, so. can't have them all. You cannot have them all. What about you? What is your favorite sort of activity when you can't sleep? I'm not accustomed to this. It seems like you're pretty used to it. If I'm being honest, you're taking this better than me. Well, there is. Okay, because I know some people who do the same thing. <laughs> Dang. Y'all are crazy. Like, legit insane. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. <laughs> how do you even function at school? Like, how would you function? I need six to eight hours. Or hair is not being combed. Homework is not being done. Answers were not being answered because I'm not raising my hand because I'm just going to have an attitude. <laughs> I'm just going to have a whole attitude. This is why I do not eat a banana. It's like, why must some fruit? I get it. I basically signed a non negotiable contract saying that when you eat this fruit, you will not look the prettiest. You, you, you will not look like you hadn't eaten anything. You know, people are just able to eat and they just don't. Get any stain or anything. I would listen to music, but like I'm legit brain dead, so I'm just gonna make my own music. It just that reminded me, like my dad, he had got us these iPads, not iP like iPods, back in like 2011, something like that. Maybe even younger. I was probably younger. Mm mm. I was younger. I was probably like between six to eight. I'm going to say like six to nine. That's a stretch. Like no older than 10. And I remember we got iPods. And I don't even remember how I was able to listen to music. I legit have no idea. That's like the one piece of technology that I have to like show that. And also I had a flip phone. Or like a little camera phone. My mom had that. She gave that to us. When we were, I was like, I was young. I didn't even know how to use it. But I just remember it was like a camera phone. And it's called like a camera phone. <laughs> yeah. When you see these like millennial like room tours of like how their parents kept I'm sorry, I keep scratching my eyes. I just scratch my feet so I don't want to tired. But a lot of these like millennial house tours where they raise 
or room tours where most of their parents kept um like everything like CDs and all the stuff from back in their time my first point is I wish my mom had did that my second point is that's crazy to think that that's gonna be us <laughs> like in a couple of decades you and me alike and millions of others will like we'll be doing these tours Ugh, our tour is gonna be the weirdest we have such weird <laughs> we have such weird stuff be like yeah baby it was called fine I don't even know it'd be so bizarre like the things that we have now to think that that things that we have now are like considered futuristic you know and like whoa like I don't know that's that's so weird my room tour would be pretty like I feel like yours would be good yeah you like really know how to decorate your room I like it I kind of just do like the bare minimum I'm like let's throw some drapes right here let's put a little plant picture and then let's call it a day and like of course a little night nightstand a little dresser and a bed. A bed would be nice. <laughs> we need the basic necessities. I ask for nothing more and nothing less. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty much done with my snack. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should think about that now. Like, make some sort of, I don't know, like, a, get a crate or something and just, like, what are random things that I had, like the iPhone, like the first iPhone, I didn't, I didn't have that first iPhone, I got, the first iPhone I had was the iPhone 6, like, yeah, it was a 6, 6S, I don't know, I just remember it was 6, not gonna lie, I do like it that it's not, um, touchscreen, I mean that now it's touchscreen, because I realized back then it was, well it was, yeah, you get what I'm saying, I don't even know what I'm saying, the little button at the bottom, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's considered old. <laughs> That's considered old. Yeah, but. Yeah, like. Have a little, like. Collectibles thing. And. Like, collect some of the stuff that I have. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be cool. Just to be like. Look. Like, this is the stuff that we had back then. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to get some sleep. I think. Yeah. I just had to talk about random stuff because that's what I do. I talk too much. <laughs> yeah. I already know you're going to stay up. <laughs> but I'm about to hit the... The... Mm, hit the sand castle. I don't know. You can always make up new catchphrases. What did I tell you? Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to make sense. But yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. Or try.